Hello everyone, in this lecture we are just going to interface relays with our Arduino Uno for controlling 230 volt light appliances. Let's get started. So I am planning to build this circuit for demonstrating the relay interface. That is, this is the same circuit that we built, that is the relay driver circuit that we built in the last lecture for controlling a light bulb. We also demonstrated this circuit. If you have missed that lecture, you can go back to that lecture, link is given in the description. And this is the same circuit, I am just connecting the base of the transistor to the digital pin 8 of Arduino. And I am connecting a push button in pull down logic to the digital pin 7 of Arduino. I am powering up my Arduino Uno using the USB port of the PC. And for this relay, I am using a 12 volt relay. So I am using 12 volt 1 amps adapter for powering up this relay. Don't forget to commonly sort the ground of the Arduino with the ground of the adapter used for relay. Let's go to the programming. Initially, we just want to configure the pins right. You can see. This relay driver pin will be treated as output and this pin will be made as input. So this digital pin 7 of Arduino Uno is nothing but the PD7 of Atmega328. And this digital pin 8 is nothing but the PB0 of Atmega328. So I am making the relay driver pin PB0 as output. So I can write DDRB or equal to 1 let shift of ddb0 so this will configure the pb0 as output nextly i just want to make the pd7 as input so i just want to write a zero to that particular bit so ddrd ampersand equal to negation of one let shift of dd d7 this will make the pd7 as input So the configuration part is over. We have configured the PB0 as output and PD7 as input. And regarding the logic, we are just going to turn on this relay whenever the push button is pressed. That is, when I press this push button, a 5 volt signal will be given to the PD7 pin. And when the 5 volt signal is received in the PD7 pin, I will turn on the PB0 bit. That is, I am turning on the relay so that the light will be turned on. And when I release the push button, a 0 volt signal will be given to the PD7 so that I will turn off the PB0 as well as the 230 volt AC light bulb. So, for our logic, we will be checking for the PD7 bit. If it is high, we will turn on the PB0. If it is low, we will turn off the PB0. That is, we are turning on the 230 volt AC light bulb. That is, we are turning on the 230 volt light bulb using a relay whenever the push button is pressed. And we will be turning off the light whenever the push button is released. So I can check the PD7 bit by writing the condition pin D ampersand of 1 left shift of pin D7 so this condition will return 1 whenever the pin D7 bit is high that is whenever the PD7 bit is high. So if it is high, we just want to turn on the relay. That is nothing but the PB0. So I can turn on the PB0 by writing port B or equal to 1 left shift of PB0. So this will turn on the PB0. If the push button is not pressed, we just want to turn off the relay, right? That is the PB0. So I will write the else condition. So whenever the button is pressed, this if condition will be true. So that whatever written inside this if condition will be executed. That is PB0 relay will be turned on. And whenever we release the button, this condition will be false. So automatically if the if condition is false, this else part will be executed. That is, whatever that is written inside the else part will be executed. Here we have only turned off the PB0. So the PB0 bit will be turned off. 
that's all about the programming part now i'm building the code now connect your arduino uno development board to the usb port of the pc through usb cable and then click on this icon for uploading the sketch to your arduino uno The program has been successfully uploaded to your Arduino Uno. Now build this circuit to see the output in the hardware. Now you can see I have connected the button to the digital pin 7 of Arduino and the relay driver circuit to the digital pin 8 of Arduino. And this one is the relay driver circuit that I built in the breadboard in the previous lecture. And here you can see the output in my hardware. See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.